Well, I'm sorry about the fact that my room is an untamed disaster at the moment, but I watched the 2020 presidential debate last night and I felt like I would go to hell if I didn't say something about it on the internet. Well, how to start? Um, it was a train wreck, a disaster. But it wasn't necessarily, you know, a disaster in the way that everybody was terrible. It was kind of like it was kind of like a high school party, you know. It's it's not that everybody at the party is 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 awful and obnoxious. It's that you know Jimi Henderson snorted a line of coke and then took a shit on the living room rug, and that's pretty much what Trump did. And of course, Joe Biden and Chris Wallace, you know, the moderator of the debate, they were they were watching and they were like. And there's so many other things as well. There was, you know, the racism in that, you know, when asked directly by both Biden and Wallace to condemn white supremacy, he instead called upon the neo-fascist <laughs> white power group. You know, he calls on them to stand ba to stand by and stand back, which is just like mind-bogglingly racist. But on top of that, he's mean. He's a mean person. You know, take for example when he when he when he made fun of Hunter Biden in front of Joe Biden on the national stage. Now, you know, ad hominem attacks are pretty common in politics, but like, you know, knowing anything about Joe Biden, that man has had to bury half of his family. All right, like like actually think about that. Having to watch a large chunk of your family die. It's I mean it's awful. It's objectively horrible. And of course, you know, Donald Trump jumps on the stage. Joe Biden is talking about the fact that Donald Trump mocked war veterans, you know, and Joe Biden's son was a war veteran. Trump, instead of, you know, apologizing to Biden, he turns around, criticizes Hunter Biden for having combated a drug addiction. It's, it's so, it's so mean. You, you, you feel like you were watching one of those 80s movies with the stereotypically over-the-top, comically mean bully. You know, the bully that walks up to the main character and is like, Hey, four eyes! Hey, how you doing? Like, and you, you watch those movies, you go, There's no way. Everyone has layers. You know, like, like Shrek, like onions. Everyone has layers. You know, no one is just objectively mean. Except for this guy, apparently. I don't understand how anyone can watch his performance and go, Ooh, what a, mm, yes, what a respectable presidential guy. What a nice guy. But you know what? Honestly, I don't think that's what his base thinks when they see it. I think they see... Donald Trump go up and mock Joe Biden's dead son on stage. And I think they go, yes! You don't bring up personal life experiences in the middle of a debate. And by the way, by the way, it's not even like that comment had anything to do with the rest of the debate, all right? What Hunter Biden, you know, the, the experiences that Hunter Biden has gone through, very bravely, mind you, you know, getting over a drug addiction is no easy feat. That is not something to sneeze at. But, you know, Hunter Biden's personal life does not really have a, a, a significant effect over what Joe Biden does in office. So, in effect, this was basically an ad hominem attack, but not even on Joe Biden. So, it was a logical fallacy on top of another logical fallacy. Uh, there were so many other things. You know, Trump misrepres completely misrepresented Biden's climate plan by calling it the Green New Deal. And it's like, dude, I wish it was the Green New Deal, but it's not. Trust me, dude, it's not the Green New Deal. And Biden actually did a, a pretty respectable job during the debate. You know, he was flat occasionally. He didn't uh, quite hit those notes, but he did do a lot of really smart things. He um, he did this really smart thing where he would, you know, Trump would be, Trump would be, you know, blathering on to him and Biden would look directly at the camera. He would look directly at the camera and he would address the American people directly. And whenever I saw that, I'd be like, it, it, it you know, it gave the feeling that he gave a fuck. <laughs> That's what it was. You, I felt like he cared about the American people. And if you notice, Trump never did that once. I think Trump looked at the camera like once, but it was more of like a Jim the Office expression where he's like, yeah, get a load of this idiot. <laughs> Yeah. I would say this debate was an absolute embarrassment for the entirety of the United States, and it was largely a failure, no, entirely a failure for Trump's campaign, um, and it almost helped Biden a little bit, because Biden didn't even really need to do anything the whole time, aside from, you know, looking at the camera, he, uh, he basically just had to sit there and watch as Trump continuously shot himself in the foot with a Glock, over and over again, that's basically what he was doing. <sighs> Oh, Kamala and Kamala versus uh, Mike Pence. That's that's up in a couple weeks or days. I don't know. Time is a construct. 
Uh, all right, I guess that's it.